And uh, I hear it from many other teachers of the wisdom teaching, Buddhist, for example, our uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, when was asked, you know, we feel the responsibility, our teachers are all dying, and here we are, here we are, you know, we have this precious teaching in our hands, and we're sharing it with our community, and sometime, you know, we are changing it here. And it's like, are we in the right road? What do you suggest? There was a, a meeting years ago in Lhasa asking um, His Holiness Dalai Lama by many of the different branch of the Buddhist tradition teaching in the West and East um, to be guided how to carry it. And I was deeply touched when somebody reported to me that was present there about this part. When he said, when you are, he thought, you know, he thought, he waited, because there are new questions. It's, it's, it's people doesn't necessarily ask the same question that us from the uh, East, uh, um, the West ask. And then he said, when you are, in a, when you are teaching, um, for example, in this case, the sutras, always chant them in Sanskrit, for example. Always chant, and I see in the room here you carry the traditional chant of the vibration. Of the, carry that, because the chant in itself is the vibration that carries the lineage. I don't know if you know the word lineage, but let's say it carries the river, the river of the ancestors. They carry it with love, dedication, with passion. There's an energy, it's love, <laughs> it's a vibration, it's a field. Our friend, the scientist, right? It's a field. It's a field, it's alive, always vibrating with what each moment is present. Atta yoga is always present. So to, to practice uh, uh, chanting the sutras and reciting the sutras is a worthy um, way to vibrate with the state of yoga. You, know? you chant it, you learn it, it's, there's an effort. You have to pay a lot of attention. You have to listen. It's a form of meditation. And then you just, take, you, you just stay in silence and feel the vibration, like we did tonight here. It's good enough. You don't need to know the meaning. Isn't that cool? For our mind, what do you mean? Right? No, just relax in the natural gray ease. What is it? Uh, uh, rest in the natural gray ease, this exhausted mind, beaten endlessly by karma and erotic thoughts, like the pounding waves in the ocean of samskara, or something like that. <sighs> Don't you feel like that sometime? <laughs> it's like, when is going to stop? Right? Do you notice that mind sometime? Sometime I said, okay, honey, I already heard you. You know what I ask my student? I said sometime, did you do therapy on this? You know, like there is a lot of suffering going on or something. And they come. Did you do some therapy? Oh, I did it for years and years. I spent all my money on Good. This is a very good news. Because then I feel empowered to say, can we do it differently? <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, don't believe your thoughts anymore. Just, you know, just for a while. You can still believe your thoughts, but just let's just say, for five minutes. Can you feel it? It's like, what do you mean? Who am I? Who am I without my thoughts, you know? So... <laughs> uh, I chose well. Spirit chose well, yeah. So, right? So there is a little, there is a little lightness to it. We, we, we try. So, back to the His Holiness Dalai Lama. You know, practice the sutras, learn them well, you know, pay attention like we did this morning for a few hours, pay attention to how everything sounds and how long the A is and the U is and the E is, and then forget about it. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. And then come together and say, what's going on with your neck? You know? Yeah. Everything. You're right. Right? And so, yeah, let's just move it here. 
<laughs> right? And so it says, now we relate. So let's do some art. Let's do some movement together. Let's do some breathing together. Let's do some sounding together. You know, let's laugh together and let's move. So basically, the Dalai Lama said, honor the teaching, learning in the correct way, carrying the Sanskrit, you know, carry it. Or whatever language, your Pali or, the, or Tibetan, carry it. But then, when you are together, to understand and to experience it, use whatever method will serve the people. <laughs> 